is completed yeah so last class we are discussing about your uh, uh, logic gates so for this logic gates uh, we have only seen the truth table that's it logic gates okay so there are basic three gates are there and r and the dot so we'll discuss from this itself okay i'll, I'll turn off my video yeah man. so and gate is nothing but c is equal to a dot b r gate is nothing but c is equal to a plus b and not gate is nothing but your a is nothing but your a dash okay let's just see the relations so the symbols are like this so this is your and gate there are two inputs and one output this is your and gate it is a and it is b and for r gate so there are two inputs it is c and it is c and this is your not gate there should be a notch at the output. Okay, it is A dash and it is A. Okay, the true table is like this. So A, B, and C. So when you're taking the true table, just remember, so it should start with like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1. Please try to take like this. So for this one, it is A dot B. So both should be true, then only the output will be true for the gate. So it is a 0, 0, 0, and 1. And for the R gate, it is AND, it is R, and it is NOT. For the R gate, it is, uh, so either one will be true, either one should be true. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if you see that either one is true, then the output will be true. It is 0, 1, 1, 1. It is the output for your R gate. And NOT gate, so if the input is 0, the output will be 1. So 0, 1, 1, 0, it is opposite. So we can say A dash R, we can write it as A bar also. Okay, so this is your gates. Now let's see a one small circuit here. So then after that we'll discuss. Uh, let's see the waveforms better. We'll see the waveforms. For this waveforms, so what I'll do, I'll take the inputs. Better I'll take the inputs. So I'll take the lines like this. That is A. I'll write A here. And it is your B. And it is your C. Okay, so I'll take the inputs like this. So there are two inputs and one output. So it is A and it is B and it is C. So what I'll do, I'll section wise, I'll split it. I'll split it with the sections. There are four inputs are there, that is uh, sections, uh, sequence are there, four sequence, I'll write like this. And it is a continuous process, My continuous rate was varying. So it is second, third one. So and it is a fourth one. Continuous rate was varying. So and so on, continuously it will vary like this. Okay, let's just see for the first one. So I'll take the inputs. So it is a zero, zero. So zero should be it is false, it will be zero. And again, zero. And here it is one. Okay, and here it is one. And it is a continuous process again, zero, zero, one. So it is A, it is zero, zero, and it is one, one. So one is your pulse here. So it is your A input. And let's see B. So B is at the point zero, one, and zero, one. Zero. 1, 0, and 1. So it is a continuous process like this. So this is your pulse for your B. So it is a 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Let's see the pulse for your C. For the C, I'll take it as AND gate first. AND gate. So for the AND gate, the pulse will be like this. So it is nothing but your A. If both are 1, then only the output is 1. Or else, what will happen? The pulses will be so 0, so it will be 1, and others will be 0. So 0, 0, 0. So this is your AND. This is your AND. So same thing for, same thing for, we'll see for uh, R. I'll split like this, four sections. And it is a continuous one like this. Okay. So for R, so either one should be true. So if you see that here it is one and here it is one and here it is one. So the output pulses will be like this. So it is zero, it is one, it is one, and it is one. So this is your output for your R gate. Okay. So this is your signal one. Please take it.
Forma. Ya. Yeah, okay. So let's see what. So I'll save it. So next one, next one we'll see the signal for NOT gate. Let's see for the NOT gate. So NOT gate, so it is one input and one output. That's it. One input and one output. It is A and it is A dash. Okay, NOT gate. Okay, so the input is A. If it is A, it is a zero, and output is A dash, it will be one, one, zero, one, one. Okay, so let's see. So the waveforms are like this. So it is a continuous one only. Okay, so the pulses will be zero, one, zero, one, and so on. It will be varying like this. So this is your input. Input A. So the output, output of NOT gate. Output of NOT gate. So if it is a zero, so it will be, if, we, if it is one, it will be zero. So it will be reverse to it. So I can rewrite it as uh, like a zero. And uh, if it is zero, like this. So I'll take this one as one. Zero, one, zero, one, zero. So like this, the pulses will be there. So if it is zero, it will be one. So this is your output for your NOT kit. Okay, it is one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and so on. So this is your pulses for your NOT kit. Please take it. So after that, we'll discuss about few more. Okay. So next one. More. So apart from these three gates, there are combinations are there. Combinations like this. So it is and plus not. Same thing. Or plus not. And plus na not we can say it as NAND gates. Or plus not we can say as NOR gates. So the output will be changing when we are adding a NOR gate. That's it. So we call it as NAND gate or NOR gate. So the signals, the symbols will be like this. The same two inputs will be there. So the, the symbol will be like this only, but there'll be a notch here at the end. So it is A, it is B, and it is C. If there is a notch, we call it as NAND gate here. Same thing for OR gate also. So this is your OR gate. So when there is a notch at the end, so we call it as NOR gate. It's A and B. So let's see for the uh, inputs to table for the OR gate and as well as your NOR gate. And same thing for your NOR gate and as well as NOR gate. Let's see. So this is your AND and this is your NAND. So the signals are like this. So it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So AND gate, the equation is C is equal to, it is A dot B. Remember C is equal to A dot B. Okay. So when you are getting the output, so it will be C dash. Remember? So the output will be C dash. It is a C here and a C dash here. Okay. Let's just see. So it is a 0, 0, 0. So it is 0, it is 0, and it is 1. So when you reverse it because of the NOT gate, when you reverse it, what will happen? It is 1, 1, 1, and 0. So it is the output for your NAND gate. Let's see for the NOT. So it is A, B, it is R, it is NOT.
So the equation is so C is equal to A plus B. And when you're taking the NOT gate, it is C dash. So you can say C dash or C bar also. C dash or C bar. So we can say that C dash is equal to A plus B bar. Okay. And here C dash is equal to or C bar is equal to it is A dot B bar. Okay. Let's take this equation like this. Okay. These are your equations. It is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So R will be 0, 1, 1, 1. But because of the not gate, what will happen? It will be reversed to it and 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is your output for not gate. So it is R, it is R dash, C dash, it is not. Okay, let's take this one. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Next one, sometimes they make an ask you the circuits like this. Okay, so we need to do the truth table for the given circuit. Let's see that. So it is your uh, NAND gate only. It is your NAND gate. So this is your output. I'll take it as Y. But, but, so when they have given, when they are giving the input, they'll give the multiple times like this. So it is your E. So they may can give the circuit like this. So it is NAND gate, but the input is common. And let's see for the NOR gate. So for the NOR gate, they'll give like this. Y and the common input. Here. So let's see the table of column. So for example, for this table of column, so if the table, the inputs will be same. Remember the inputs will be same. Let's see. So I'll take like this, it is A. Okay, and uh, I'll take this one as B. And I'll take this one as Y. So here also, it is A, B, and Y. Okay, so first of all, we'll see your NAND gate. So if the inputs are common, let's see that. So here, so when we're discussing about the NAND gate, it is nothing but your A dot B. Because of the NAND gate, so it is A dot B bar remover. So AND gate is A dot B, and the NAND gate is A dot B bar. Same thing for R gate. R gate is A plus B, where we're taking the Y, Y is nothing but your C dash, which is equal to, it is A plus B bar. Okay, let's just see the inputs. Inputs means, so if A is zero, there are two, only two inputs will be there now. So one is a zero and one is one. Okay, so I'll take this one as A point and I'll take this one as B point. So when you're varying zeros and ones, the output will be, the input will be zero and one only. Okay, remember zero and one only. Okay, let's see. So for this Y, so instead of Y, I'll take the C first. C is equal to A dot B for ungate. 
c is equal to e dot b so it will be it will be 0 0 0 is 0 because it is your and gate and it is your nand gate i'll take this one as y so 0 and both are ones the output will be one only so because of the opposite to it so y is equal to it is a dot b whole power so i can take it as one and zero so this is your true table for your nand gate when both inputs are same like this for our gate we'll see so for our gate so it is again zero it is zero if it is one it is one so let's see first of all i'll take it as c so c is your r gate and y is your nor gate okay so if both is zero then it will be zero only so it is a zero and it is one so because the opposite to it what will happen it will one and it will be zero okay please take this one So related to this one, I'll give a circuit, try to find the two table for it. So it is input, it is A, it is B, and here, I'll take this one as y dash, it is a, it is b, and I'll take this one as y. So try to find the two table for this one. Now. So I'll give the input signals also for this input. So it will be a, b, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what you need to get, do you need to find your NOR gate first? After that, you have to find the second NOR gate. I'll take the outputs like this. It is a dash y dash y dash is nothing but your a plus b bar for the first NOR gate, and after that we are going to find y, which is your second NOR gate. So please try to find the outputs for this case, right? So I can say this one as the first NOR gate. Try to find the output for this first NOR gate. So I'll take this one as your second NOR gate. So whatever the output it was getting y dash, the same output is equal to its input here. So the input will be same here, and we are going to find the output again. Please do it. Uh, y is uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. Yeah, correct. Good. So y is nothing but your 0, 1, 1, 1. If you see that, this y is nothing but your a plus b, which is nothing but your NOR gate. So they may can ask you the questions like this. They will give the circuit. We need to check what is the output of it. Is it a NOR gate? Is it an AND gate? Is it a NOT gate? Whatever the gate is there, they are going to check it like this. So this is the thing that good. So y dash, y dash will be like this. So y dash will be because it is your NOR gate, so it will be uh, one, zero, zero, and zero. Okay, please take it. If you have any difficulty, please let me know. Or no? Do you have any doubt? No, sir. Okay, good. So let's see one more. Have you taken it? Yes, sir. Other. Okay, good. So let's see one more. So the circuit is like this. So you take the inputs and you do the outputs also. Okay, I'll give the circuit. It is A. I'll take this one as A dash.
it is B and it is B dash. So because of the notch, it will be your NOR gates. These are your NOR gates. And these two NOR gates are connected to one more NOR gate. Okay, I'll take this one as Y. So try to find it for this two table. So what is the output for Y? And you have to check which gate it is. The options are like this. You have to check whether it is uh, AND gate, second one R gate, third one NOR gate, or fourth one NAND gate. You have to check whether the output matches to which gate. Try it first. Do it first. It is your first one. I'll give few more. So the first one is it zero 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 one? First one one minute. Uh, let me check it. Ah yes, ma correct. First one the output is zero 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 one ma correct. Good. So which gate it is? It is your AND gate. Correct? This is your answer. Good. So second one. Second one. It is NOR gate, it is Y dash, and they have connected a NOR gate here. Uh, 
Okay, well, so can you hear me? Sorry, uh, it was disconnected. I'll display the PDF directly. You can see the PDF. First one is your AND gate. First one is your AND gate. So please do the second one. Example 51. Please do this too. Try to find the output for it. Over ma? Yeah, for the yes, Yeah, for the fifty, first one? Yeah. Hmm. What is the output? Zero, one, one, one. Zero, one, one, one. Yes, ma, correct. Good. Zero, one, one, one. Good. So it is your R gate. Okay, let's see. One more for the second one. Zero and one. Zero. One. No. See here the input is because we if we have only one NOT gate, then only one input will be there. If you're varying, like for example, if the A is zero, zero, one, one, and the B is your uh, uh, zero, one, zero, one. So the output will be it is A dash and B dash. So it will be one one zero zero, and here the B dash will be is a one zero one zero. So after that only we have to do the NOR gate. So the NOR gate will be so the output will be opposite. So it will be zero zero and zero one. So this is your output one for this one. It is not like only one input. It has a sequence of inputs, and opposite to it, it will be varying. Okay. Right one. So this is your output. So zero 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 one. Please take it. So let's see one more. Is it over? So one second. Yeah. Okay, please. Okay, good one. Let's see one more. Try this one. Example 53. Example 53. Please don't go to the question. So try to find the outputs. Forget the word question. Try to find the output for it. Find the true table for it.
So is it one one zero one? One one zero one. Let's see. Yes, my correct. Good. So the output is one one zero one. Right now. Nice. So okay, try this one. Next one. Others, if you have any doubt, more please let me know that I'm just moving faster because there are so many questions that we need to practice. Any doubts? No, sir. Yeah, Varsha, Varsha and Nandana, if you have any doubts, please let me know. Okay, so let's see this. Okay, so try to find this one. Karam 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 khare. Not the answer for this? Zero zero one one. Um, zero zero one one. Yes, my correct. Good. So it is zero zero one one. Good. Okay. So let's see one more. Try this one fifty five. Fifty five and this one. Question, problems for practice. These two questions, please do it.
But that's it for the 55. Sir, so one, 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 one. Yeah, no, correct. All are ones here. Correct. Next one, this one. Do. Yeah. Zero zero one one. Zero zero one one. Let's see, ma. Zero zero one one for this. Yeah, ma. Correct. Good. So zero zero one one. Good one. Okay. So let's see one more. Try this one. Third and fourth one. Try third and fourth.
Yeah, ma'am. Let's see, right? Uh, like, should we take the opposite of uh, what we get, like, for Y dash? For the first, the third diagram? Yeah, I'm asking for the third one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The third one, they have given a table column, sorry. I should have shown that. Third one, they have given a table column. So we need to find Y1 and Y2, that's it. So they have given the inputs, A, B, C. Uh, y1 is 0 and 1? Y1 is uh, 0, 1. Uh, y1 is 0, Y2 is 0, ma. 0, 0. Both are zeros. Yeah. Okay, so that means this is your R gate and this is your AND gate. Okay, it is 0, 0. Let's try fourth one. Thank you. 
Or is it for zeros? Is it? For zero, 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 zero. Fourth one. So fourth one, full zero, no more, zero, 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 one. Last one is it? Zero, 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 one. So let's see. So here it is A, B. I'll take this one as Y dash. Uh, something, something, I don't know. It is Y dash Y. Okay, Y, some X, for example. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So it is your R gate. That is 0, 1, 1, 1. And it is 1, 0, 0, 0. And here it is your AND gate. AND gate between your B and Y. B and Y AND gate. So it is your 0, 0, 0. Whoa. Yeah, my 0 only. Correct. Maybe some mistake is there. The output is 0. Only. Correct. Output is 0 only. Correct. Correct. Maybe some uh, printing mistake will be there sometimes. Output zero is okay. So let's see one more. Try these two fifth and six. Six better. Try fifth and six more. Or someone mm -mm. okay.
so is it zero one one zero zero one one zero let's see ma uh yeah correct 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 so when we are discussing about this type of circuits now remember we call it as xr we call it as xr here xr gates so the outputs of xr gates are nothing but 0 1 1 0 remember it sometimes they make an ask you so the output of the xr gates are like this so it will be like a cross multiplication thing okay so cross so opposite to it so the output for these gates are like this so c is equal to a dash b plus b dash a so the output equation will be like this this type of equation so c is equal to a dash b plus b dash a so we call it as xr okay so try this one one six seven and I'll show you one more circuit. So you do this one and after that, enough. Try sixth and seventh.
Orma? So, sixth one, can you tell the answer? Sir? Yeah, sixth one is uh, the same thing, zero, one, one, zero. Yeah, okay, sir. It's like XR only, but with NAND gates, that's it. Six one is a zero one one zero only. Try seventh one more. Orma? Uh, is it zero, 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 one? Yeah, ma, correct. Zero, 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 one only. Others, please check it. So if any doubt, please let me know. So we'll see only one question. After that, uh, we'll go to the transistors. The three uh, things are there. That's it. Any doubts, ma, Joel, Varsha, Nandana? No, sir. Okay, good. So one last circuit. Yes, ma'am. One last thing after that we'll stop it. Uh, try this one. One uh, Okay. Yeah, try this one. This circuit. This one. Yeah.
Got the answer? Sir, zero one one zero. Zero one one zero for this question. Let's see. Zero. Uh -huh. No, ma, one zero one one. One zero one one. So these are your waveforms. You can check it. Zero 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 one one zero one one. The waveforms, it depends upon the waveforms, you can check it. 
Okay, anyway, I'll send this one so you can practice later. Okay, so this is your questions now. So remember, you may get one question compulsorily from your logic gates. Okay, so let's see our uh, uh, transistors. So transistors, I told you there are three things are there which we need to discuss today. Today we will do some problems also in that. So let's see. Before going to that uh, switches and the things, we'll do some pro small problems on this transistor. So after that, we'll discuss. So last class itself, we have seen. Uh, so to find the beta, to find the alpha. So with respect to that one only, we'll discuss one or two problems. After that, we'll discuss about the switches. Let's take this question. I'll just display it here. Take the question 23, ma. Question number 23, please. Question number 23. So for a transistor connector in a common emitter mode, the voltage drop across the character is 2 volts and beta is 50. Find the base current if RC is 2, 3. Okay. So in this question, they have given. So the uh, voltage, common emitter mode, the voltage drop across the collector. Voltage drop across the collector is nothing but your common emitter CE configuration. So where color emitter is grounded here. So the voltage across collector is nothing but your VCE. So VCE is your two volts. VCE is your two volts. And beta they have given, beta is your 50. So beta, we already discussed this beta is nothing but your uh, CE configuration, current gain. So beta is equal to IC by IB. Beta is equal to IC by IB. So what we need to find, we need to find the base current from this relation. So they have given RC is 2 kilo ohms. RC is 2 kilo ohms. So try to find the relation. And one more thing, when you want to get the current, okay, so here the relation is VC because it is your collector end and it is your related to output. So we know that VCE is equal to IC RC. Remember this relation. Because they have given VCE is nothing but your voltage drop across your collector. Okay, VCE is equal to IC RC. From this relation, try to find IC, then find IB. Do it now. Try to find IC and IV. Zero point zero two. Which one, ma? I C, I B. I B. Yeah, zero point zero two. Mm, that's it. That's it. Any micro, mainly anything? Um, no. I C. What is the value of I C? One. So I C is one million. IC is 1 milliamp and IB is 20 microamps. IB is 20 microamps. 20 microamps. Let's check it. IB is 20 microamps. So I, I'll do it here. So IC is equal to, it is VC that is 2 divided by, that is RC. RC is your 2 kilo ohms. So it is 2 into 10 power 3. So it will be due to will get cancer. So it is 10 power 3, minus 3, minus 3 amps. So with respect to this one, I need to find IB. IB is equal to IC by beta. So IC is equal to 10 power minus 3 divided by 50. So the relation will be your 20 into 10 power minus 6 amps. So this is your relation. So let's see one more. Let's see one more. 24.
right 24 Got the answer? So, IB is 10 raised to minus 5 ampere. Yeah, my correct. Good. So, but we need to find emitter current. So, try to find emitter IE. <coughs> So from this relation, Joel, getting the answers? Yes, sir. Yeah, no, okay. So, I feel 5.1 into 10 raised to minus 4. Yeah, my correct. So, we can say that 0 0.5 in 0 0.5 milliamps or 5 into 10 power minus 4 amps. Okay, correct. Correct. So, try 25. <coughs>
So, I guess my B is uh, 10 raised to minus 4 ampere. ID is 10 raised to minus 4 ampere. Let's see one minute. Uh, uh, no, ma. No. IB is a 0 0.1 milliamps. Okay, so Ray, correct. So we have given 10 raised to minus 4. Correct, ma. Correct, correct. What is IC then? 59 into 10 raised to yes, minus ma, correct. 4. Correct, correct, correct. Good. good. So this. So is it over? Any doubts, ma? No, sir. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's see the switches then. So make a heading, transistor as a switch. So we'll try to complete today. Next one, transistor as a switch. Transistor as a switch. So last class itself, I told you transistor is nothing but a switch. It will try to operate millions of times in a particular second itself. It is nothing but your digital device. Okay. So it will be used in your electronic boards, motherboards, or computer chips and all. Okay. So the basic transistor, main advantages of transistors are, are like this. Transistors, these are very small. Okay. These are very small and cheap. Very small and cheap and reliable. Second thing, second thing, so there are no moving parts. No moving parts. Third one, so they have longer life. So on the well-designed circuits, so longer life. And fourth one, so they can switch on and off millions of times. On and off millions of times. Millions of times a second. Millions of times a second. Okay. So to understand this transistor as a switching operation, so what we are going to do, we are going to take a CE configuration, common emitter configuration here. So in this common emitter configuration, there are three stages of transistors. Are there. there are three stages. Are there. So let's see one by one. I'm just drawing the circuit, then we'll explain, discuss. Okay. So here there is an input. The input is connected to the base and a common emitter where the emitter is grounded. And the collector is connected for the output. There is a resistor and there is a voltage. So this voltage is VCC where we are varying the voltage VCC and I'm connecting the output like this here at this point. And for the base, there is a resistor, input resistor, I'll take it as RB. And there is a voltage, I'll take this one as a variable VBB. And they'll be having some input voltage. So this is your circuit. So it is your base, it is your collector, and it is your emitter. It doesn't matter whether you are taking PNP transistor or NPN transistor. Last class itself we had discussed. So this is your resistor, I'll take this RC, the current is flowing through that, at least your IC, okay? Let's see that. So in this case, so when you're applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law, let's see, when you're applying the Kirchhoff's voltage law, so the voltage will be like this. And across this base and emitter, the voltage will be VBE. The voltage will be VBE voltage. And across this emitter and collector, the voltage will be VC. Let's see the equations. So I'll take this one as first one, I'll take this one as second one. There are two loops are there. So I'll take the equations, directly the equations. So VBB is equal to, VBB is equal to IBRB plus VBE. IBRB plus VBE. So I'll take this one as first equation. 
And when you're discussing about the VCC, VCC is equal to your IC RC plus VC. Now, if you want to find the output, output will be across your collector and emitter. So VC is equal to your VCC minus ICRC. So I'll take this one as your second equation. Now let's see the thing. So when we are discussing about the equations, and, and remember one more thing. So the input. Okay. So I told you the VCC is nothing but your output. I'll take this V naught V naught is equal to VCC minus ICRC. I can rewrite that equation now. And if you want to find the input, input is nothing but your VBB because the input voltage and the VBB both are in parallel. So both are in the same. So V, in, v input is nothing but your IVRB plus VBE. This is your input voltage. So now let's see. So when we are discussing about the transistors, especially there are three categories are there, three different uh, uh, stages are there. Okay, let's see for the first one. So first stage, first stage, so we call it as cutoff region. Second stage, we call it as active region. And third one, we call it as saturation region. So please take this one more graph on the relations. Then after that, we'll discuss about the three regions and there is a graph here. Okay. Please take this one. Make it fast. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So I told you there are three regions are there. First region we'll see. So the graph, I'll just draw the graph. So the graph is for your output voltage. The graph is for your output voltage. Okay. Let's see there. So here it will be varying like this. Okay, so it is your output voltage and here there are three regions are there. So first one is your cutoff region, let me draw the areas. So it is your cutoff region. <coughs> Second one is your active region. Third one, saturation region. Okay, 
so let's see that so first of all for the active region so when you are applying some voltage let's see uh, it is like a forward bias and reverse bias cases first region we'll discuss about the cutoff region okay so for this cutoff region what will happen to the output let's say that. so when va increases slowly so we are increasing the va increases slowly from zero remember when we are applying some voltage from the zero point so the the transistor or the diode also it won't be forward bias until or unless there is a breaking point okay now so zero to a low value what i'll do i'll vary this input voltage from zero to a low value that low value i'll take it as less than 0.6 volts if it is less than 0.6 volts 0.6 volts so for your sa so it is your uh, sa okay silicon so i'll taking 0.6 volts which is lesser than the 0.6 volts i'll take it as okay and if you see that so if it is less than 0.6 volt what will happen so there is no current passing through it but because it is not a forward bias condition so it is insufficient to get forward bias so we can say it is insufficient insufficient to get forward bias to get forward bias okay so insufficient to get your forward bias to start the forward bias current we can say so let's see so we can say that ib is equal to zero because whatever the voltage is there it is less than your 0.6 volts to get that current or to get the forward bias what we have to do so we have to increase the voltage that voltage if it is increasing 0.67 that are that is greater than 0.6 or greater than 0.7 volts that is your breakdown voltage that time only it will be forward bias before that it will be your zero current so ib is equal to zero and ib is equal to zero that means if the input current is equal to zero what will happen the output is also zero ic is equal to zero okay so that moment we call it as a cutoff region that moment we call it as a cutoff region so in this cutoff region so the output v naught is equal to vcc because ic or ic and ib are equal to zero so for this case for the cutoff region ib is equal to zero and ic is equal to zero it is your first one let's see the second one second one active region in this active region what i'll do i'll slowly gradually increase the uh, va so i'm increasing the va va increases slightly when va increases slightly above 0.6 volts just taking this one above 0.6 volts one minute no one minute one minute Okay, so when I'm taking above 0.6 volts. Okay, so for above 0.6 volts, so the current IC flows in the output circuit because IB is varying here. IC slowly flows, flows in your output circuit. Okay, so when IC flows through the output circuit and the transistor is in your active state itself, it is in your active state. it is in your active state okay so from the equation we can see that when your input voltage varies input voltage varies what will happen to the ic so that moment what will happen so ic rc also increases ic rc increases so ic rc increases so that moment what will happen the output voltage v not decreases that moment when ic increases the output voltage v not decreases v not decreases when v not decreases so by increasing the input voltage so here input voltage increases ic also increases and we can say both are linearly increasing with each other linearly increasing so both input and ic both are linearly increasing that moment what will happen v not decreases linearly v not decreases linearly okay so till the value becomes less than 1 volt till value becomes less than 1 volt it will be decreasing now so this is your active region so in this region if you see that when we are increasing the input voltage so the output voltage is decreasing so we can say ic is directly proportional to ib here and uh, it is nothing but your amplification so this region we will use for your amplifier applications amplifier applications third one is your saturation region for the saturation region so and we can say that so cutoff region is nothing but a switch off operation switch off operation 
saturation region is nothing but switch on operation. Because of this stage, the voltage is going to raise and current is also going to raise. Let's see that saturation region here VI is high, input voltage is high. So when the input voltage is high, the emitter base junction is nothing but your heavily forward bias. So we can say that emitter base junction will be heavily forward bias. For bias, that moment what will happen? The large amount of current is flowing through your output. Large current is flowing through your output. Okay, so potential. So and uh, when the large, so the large potential difference will be there across your resistive load, which is your RC. They'll be having some large potential difference here. Large potential difference here will be your now. So when we are increasing the input voltage, what will happen? The voltage V naught decreases. It's almost to zero. So V naught decreases to zero. Decreases to zero. So when V naught decreases to zero, what will happen? It will act as a saturation region, and uh, that moment, what will happen? The current cannot pass. Okay, so if the current cannot pass uh, any more further of increasing your current collector current. So I C will be saturated. I C will be saturated. That means when we are uh, raising the input voltage, so it will be highly low forward bias condition. That moment the voltage will be slightly decrease. So that condition, what will happen? The current will be saturated. So it won't further increase. So this is your switch operations. So active region, it is I B is equal to I C. Okay, and uh, both are equal to zero for active region. Both are proportional to each other. For the saturation region, we can say that large current is flowing. Large IC is flowing and it gets saturated. Okay, these are the three different regions. So it acts as a switch here. Let's take this one.
forma. Uh, is it over? Can you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, fine. Good. Okay, over, next. Sir. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, okay. Good. So, next one, your amplifier. So, I'm not going to stretch it. So, there are two different types of this CB and CE configuration. With respect to that, we'll discuss about some formulas and we'll do some problems. Okay. Next one is your amplifier. Amplifier. So in this amplifier, so what actually we are doing, uh, so we are using one basic, at least one transistor. We are using one transistor, minimum. One transistor, one transistor, which is used to increase voltage, used to increase voltage, comma. So used to increase your current, current, okay. Or power of your alternating form. So R power. So we are using one transistor to increase the voltage, current, R power. Okay, let's see a small block diagram here. So assume there is an amplifier. This is amplifier. For this amplifier, so when you are giving some signals, input signals here. So these are your input signals. They'll be having some ripple content, everything. So what I'll do, I'll take this one as your input signal. Okay, and here, so there will be having some output. So when you are applying some input signal with respect to the power supply, so the amplifier will try to convert or raise in the voltage here. So this is your power supply passing through this amplifier. Okay, so which makes the voltage raise power and as well as your current. So we can say R simply, we can say the amplifier means to increase the size to magnify an input signal. So we can say it is used to magnify the input signal itself. Okay. <coughs> so we can say it is nothing but your enlarged version of your output say, out, uh, input signals. So it is nothing but your enlarged version of your input. So output voltage. Okay, let's see that. So when you are discussing about the amplifier, there are two things are there. One is your common base and one is your common emitter amplifier. So let's take that. So I'll draw the circuit. You can take NPN or PNP transistor. I'll take NPN transistor. So first one is your CV configuration. CV configuration. For the CV configuration, so we know the base is your grounded. Come on. I'll take this one as base. It is your emitter and it is your collector. So this, uh, I'm taking NPN transistor, so the current will be flowing outside, away from it. So it is your NPN transistor. Now, when it's out, away from it, so I'm just taking the signals are like this. So it is your input voltage. So, and there will be hang some voltage across these two, which is something about your VBE. It is grounded. And I'm applying some input voltages here. This is your input voltage, input AC voltage. Put AC voltage. And here across it, there'll be hang some lamp load, resistive load. Okay, so across this resistive load, it is your RC and there is a current passing through it. And this is your IC. And it is your IV. So and across it, there'll be hang some battery. So for the supply, it is your VCC and current, current is flowing through it and across it, there'll be hang some voltage, output voltage, which is nothing but your V0. Okay, so this is nothing but your amplifying circuit. It is your amplified output. Amplified output. Okay, let's see. So when we're discussing over the input, so we know the relation IE is equal to IB plus IC. I'm just directly giving you the relations and I'm stretching it. And if you want to find the output, output equation will be like this. So V0 is equal to VCC minus IC into RL because the current is flowing through it and take it as load current, R capacitor, collector current, both are same. V0 is equal to VCC minus IC into RL. Okay, let's see the relations. Now, first one, current gain. Current gain. So first one is your current gain. 
Here again, I will take it as A i. A i. So, which is equal to, which is equal to your del i c by del i e. Del i c by del i e. Or the same thing, we will take it as alpha. Alpha a c. It is your changes. So, I will take it as del i c by del i e, where v c b is constant. Keeping v c b as constant. Okay. Same thing. Second one. Second one, we'll discuss about the DC current gain. DC current gain. For DC current gain, there is no change. It will be constant. So alpha DC is equal to, it is IC by IE. IC by IE, where we see the constant. Okay. And fourth one, sorry, third one. Third one, it is AC voltage gain. AC voltage gain. For AC voltage gain, again we are discussing about the relations, output by input. So let's see. So this AC voltage gain, I'll take it as AB is equal to, it is a VCB by, it is a VCE. VCB by VCE. I'll write here. I'll write here. So now I'm just writing here. So for the third one, third one. So it is AV is equal to, we'll take in AV is equal to, it is uh, del VCB divided by your del VEB. Del VCB divided by del VEB. So del VCB is equal to, we can say that VCB is equal to, it is R0 into del IC. R0 into del IC. And VBE is equal to, or VEB is equal to, it is a change. So it is del. So del VEB is equal to R input and del IE where IV is grounded here. So these are your input and output voltages. It is your third part. Fourth one is your current gain. That is your power gain. So fourth one, power gain. So for the power gain, power gain, so we can say change in output divided by your change in input. Change in output divided by change in input. Output divided by input. Let's see, the output is nothing but your uh, uh, change in power output. So I'll take the relation as a del uh, IC square, that is I square R divided by R naught divided by del IE square into R input, which is equal to IC by IE is nothing but your alpha. So I'll take the relation as alpha AC square into your resistance gain. So I'll write the relation here. I'll write the relation here. So for the last one, so power, so for the power gain, so for the fourth one, power gain, so it is nothing but your power P is equal to, so R I'll take it as AP is equal to your output by input. Output by input. Uh, output is nothing but I square R relation. So it is del IC square into R naught divided by del IE square into R input. So R naught by R input is nothing but resistance gain. Resistance gain is equal to your R naught by R input. Okay, the relation will be alpha AC square into your resistance gain. These are your relations for NP and transistor for your CV configuration. Please take it. So the relations are important, that's it. So if you are discussing about the CE configuration related to this one, these formulas are changing. That's it.
Forma. Dance. Okay, others. Over, sir. Yeah, man, good. Okay. So let's see one more. So for your uh, C configuration, just I'll directly give the relations. For C configuration, C amplifier. First one is your uh, AC current gate. AC current gain. So the relation will be it is a beta. So beta, I'll take it as beta AC. Or I'll take the relation as AI, which is equal to del AC IC by del IB. It is your CE configuration. Whether it is NPN or PNP, it doesn't matter. It is a VCE constant. So next one is your DC current gain. For DC current gain, it will be stable without any variation. So beta DC is equal to, it is IC by IB, keeping VC constant. Okay, and the third one, third one is your AC voltage gain. Third one, AC voltage gain. So the relation will be, I'll take it as AB, AB is equal to del BCE by, it is a del BBE. Del BC by del BB. So we know that del BB is equal to your input, which is equal to, I'll take the relation as your IB, that is your del IB into R input. And del BCE is equal to, del BC is equal to, it is R naught into del IC. R naught into del IC. So from this relation, we can say that it is a beta AC into R out divided by R in. Okay, so it is your AC voltage gain. It is your AC voltage gain. R we can say AB is equal to, AB is equal to, it is AI, that is your current, into your AR, that is your resistor. I can write this relation like this. So this is your resistor gain, resistance gain. Okay, so next one for your power. So AC power gain is equal to, AC power gain is equal to, your change in output power divided by input power. Output power divided by your input power. So output power is nothing but your del IC whole square into R naught divided by del IB whole square into your R input, which is equal to beta AC square into your R naught by R I where we can say beta AC square into your resistance gain. This is your relation, please take it. This is for your CE configuration. The voltage, current and power. These are the three terms which are going to amplify so compared to your input.
Orma? Yes, sir. Others? Yes, sir. There will be a small problem here. Question number 27, ma'am. Take question number 27. What the answer, ma? So, current gain is 0 0.2 into 10 raised to 3. Mm. Current gain is 200. Yeah. Mm. What is gain? Uh, ten thousand. Uh, thousand. Just thousand. Yeah. Okay. Other, others. Got the answer, ma? Beta is two hundred. What again? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So let's see one more. Question number 29. 29. So calculate the input resistance of the transistor operating at a VCE is equal to 4 volts. Okay. In CE configuration, having its input characteristics as shown in figure 14.67. Let's see 14.67. So it's just your um, 
One minute, one. I'm trying to able to see. Yeah. So I'll draw the characteristics here. Calculate the input resistance of the transistor operating at PCS4 volts in CE configuration having its input characteristics. So the input characteristics are like this. So the voltage is starting from 0 0.4 here. And here it is 4 volts. This is your VCE. And X axis is nothing but your VVE. So this point is 0 0.4. And same thing, so this is your VCE is your 10 volts and it is your uh, lesser than 0 0.6. The voltage difference will be there. And this point is nothing but your base current. This is your base current. Let's see the question here. So calculate the input resistance of the transistor. So input resistance of the transistor opening at VC is equal to four volts in CE configuration having its input characteristics. Okay. So here, so because the graph is, I didn't show you the graph, I'll do the thing. Okay, please take it. Okay, so in this situation from the graph actually, from the graph, from the graph, so we can take the del VBE is equal to then VBE is equal to, it is 1.1 to 0 0.9 volts. There is a variation here from the graph. So it is not clear, I didn't show the clear one. So which is equal to 0 0.2 volts. So VBE is equal to 0 0.2 volts. And from this relation, del IB, so which is equal to your input volt, input current, IB is equal to, I'll take the relation from the graph, it is 63 minus 34 microamps. So which I'll take it as 34 into 10 power minus 6 amps. 34 into 10 power minus 6 amps. So we know that VBE and we know IV. So what we need to find, we need to find I R I R input. So it is a del VBE divided by your del I. Okay. So when you solve it, we'll get the value as 6,000 amps. This is 6,000 amps. Okay, this is your current one. This is your resistance here. Okay, so just remember it from the graph only we have extracted it. Okay, let's see one more. I'll just show you one more question. Then after that we'll stop. Okay, so next question. Try this one more, 32. 32 question so we are going to find the voltage gain so what are the terms are there so we know the beta we know rc we know rb and we know your uh, input voltage so what we need to find from the voltage gain we need to find the output voltage okay output voltage we need to find right voltage gain is nothing but your v naught by v input voltage gain is V naught by V input. So which is equal to voltage gain is equal to beta into R naught by R input. So from this relation, try to find V naught.
Got the answer? Sir, V output is 2.5 volts. Yeah, ma. Correct. V output is 2.5 volts. Okay, anyway, I'll send you this document. Okay, please do practice. Okay, so transistor one question. So diode one question and logic gates one question compulsorily. Three questions we can expect from these semiconductors. Okay. So please do practice and uh, uh, please complete your question papers before I send the answer sheets. Okay, tomorrow you need to give your marks. Okay, let's see that. Okay, please do practice, ma'am. Please everyone do practice. Okay, we'll see tomorrow. So any doubt, ma'am, so far? No, sir. Yes. Okay, so Kaisia, Nandana, Joel, okay, and Basha, please do practice your question papers, please. Okay, so we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll let you know the timing. Hmm? Right, ma'am. Okay. Okay, sir. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye, ma'am.